Hello, this is Paolo Synthmania. A few people have asked, uh, how do we make these uh, DIY drum pattern sheets that I have uh, posted on a couple of my drum machine videos? Um, and I thought I would make a video about it, and it's very, very easy. So to give you the back story, I wanted to call up this picture here. This is an extract from uh, an 80s drum machine, the Roland TR-505. And this is an extract of some of uh, its patterns that come with it on the manual. And uh, you can see here on the left, there is a, a grid style like I was doing, also called XOX. And uh, on the right side, there is a more conventional notational way of writing it. But it's exactly the same. And, you know, the scale is 16th. The last step is 16th because this is only one measure. But this disco style here, it's exactly the same thing. You know, here on um, on the on the theory, on the notational way of writing it, you have uh, the bass drum on you know quarter quarter notes on each on each quarter, and it's exactly the same thing here with the bass drum. You know, every quarter you have the bass drum. And same thing for the snare. Here you have a rest on the first beat. Then there is a snare note, a rest, and another snare note. And it's exactly the same here for the snare. You have the rest here, and the quarter note, rest, quarter note. And it's exactly the same thing for the hi hats and the hand claps. So by any means, if you if you're familiar with uh, theory and notation and you know go ahead and use this 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 uh this method for drummers and percussionists uh but you can also use this grid way and um so it's quite easy to do the way i've done it uh and I, if you have excel i'm using excel but of course you can use uh, any type of uh, spreadsheet program you know google sheets or open office or anything like that it's even free but basically you know the ones i was posting for the lindrum and the dmx and all the drum machines they by default they come with uh, two bars in, and and the convention is always you know for pop western music you want to have a divisions division of uh, 16 notes that's kind of the standard give you enough gives you enough um, resolution to do a lot of uh, that type of uh, pop synth pop music uh, so basically it's very easy you just um, you first uh, create uh, you first create the first uh, the first row with uh, with the positions of, of uh, the the measure and you press uh, one and two just a couple of times just to get it going and just select one and two and um, click and drag until you hit 32 in this case and again this is for two bars so this would be the first bar and you can color it if you like you know and uh, this would be the second bar and again you could color a different color and then here I typically put the name of the song so say you want to do a house pattern so you put something like house here and then here you will put uh, the actual drum sounds, uh, such as uh, bass drum, snare, closed hat, open hat, claps, say high tom, mid tom, low tom, ride, crash, tambourine, rim shot you get the idea you know accent anything you want to put in there these are all the instruments and then it's just a simply a matter of um, creating a grid so I typically take the whole thing and uh, put grids on it all borders here and you don't have to, again you don't have to use Excel you can use any type of uh, similar spreadsheet and then I typically, you know, to make it nice, I I may put a thick box border here. And if you really want to be fancy, you can uh, make these things bold. You can uh, 
make this house tune uh, bigger. And also, I found that uh, it kind of helps if you put the strong beats of the measure in bold here and larger. So, like for the typical thing would be one. So, you know, if you press control and you do one and five and nine and 13 and 17, 21, 25, 29. You know, you can uh, make it a little bit bigger to stand out because those are the strong beats of uh, the measures. For example, say we want to do this house beat. I will put uh, an X on the first beat here and caps lock. And then on the 5 and on the 9, 13, 17, 21, 25, 29. And the snare, again, just like that um, disco pattern on the TR-505, you, you skip the first one, rest. You put it on the 5 and um, on, uh, you know, you can cop it. Actually, you know, if you want to re repeat it, just uh, grab the first eight bars. I'm sorry, the eight eight beats, which is half a bar, and just drag. And you have the snare on the five, thirteen, twenty-one, and twenty-nine. Then the close I had for say house, you know, it's typically like there is an X here, an X here, and then there is an open hat here, and and then, and then you can c copy these uh, first four beats for the duration, and then you can put some claps on the same spot where the um, the snare is, for example. And uh, you know, you get the idea. You can uh, make them all the same. Uh, this is bold maybe. Alright, so now you have a basic grid. And you know what? You don't even have to use an X. You can use whatever you want. You can uh, substitute the X, say you want to insert a symbol instead. So you would uh, insert symbol and say you like uh, the smiley face here. You can insert in my smiley face and um, a little bit bigger or bigger there and take the smiley face say you want the smiley face to be the bass drum you can do that you can just copy it over and over on the bass drum or you can uh, drag and drop and the same thing with this guy here you know you can drag and drop and now you have a smiley face close hat or you can even use your favorite meme for example you can take the the frog meme and put it on the open eye hat and now the frog is your open high hat and the sky's the limit you can let your imagination fly and then if you if you like it you can do you can color the different instruments a different way so that they're easier to spot you know you can uh, color them different ways like that And you will notice now that it kind of looks like the sheets that I, the pattern, the patterns that I have done um, on my YouTube channel. And then uh, once you have this type of uh, DIY drum pattern, you can test it on a drum machine. There, the internet is full of um, you know, online free drum machine. So, for example, you can take this HTML5 drum machine here. This looks like an 808, uh, but if you switch to a house, you can uh, pick the 909. You may want to put the tempo to, yeah, 127, something like that. And grab the kick and try it out. So you will take the kick, 
and put the kick on 1 and 5 and 9 um, 13 and play and then you could do the, um, the snare and put it on um, 5 and 13 and play it there's an extra note here and then uh, it's uh, you can take the the close eye hat and um, put it here. It's a little buggy, but it's not too shabby. And then you can put the um, you can open do the open hi hat and plug it here and here and here and there and replicate what you have. And then you can take the clap perhaps put it on the 5 and 13 and now you should have the house beat that you created on your XOX grid pattern and then you can even export the pattern as wave so the sky is the limit really so use your imagination I hope this is helpful to you and have a fantastic day